I'm Chef Michael Montgomery from the Culinary School of the Rockies, coming to you with a second segment um, doing some brunch staples. The first segment we reviewed pancakes and waffles. In this segment, I'm going to show you classic French toast, which is absolutely my favorite brunch item. And to go with that French toast, we're going to make a really simple uh, fruit compote. The term compote is a pretty loose term these days. It simply means any type of fruit that you've cooked down. You could just simply throw fruit into a pan and let it simmer and you've made a compote. In this case, I'm just simply going to add some lemon zest and some ginger to about a pound of frozen berries. So in this frozen berry mix, I've got strawberries, blackberries, and raspberries into my saucepan. Over about medium heat, I'm going to add just a little bit of white sugar. The white sugar is going to react with the sugar in the fruit and give us a nice syrup. So you don't really have to add any liquid to your compote. The fruit has so much water, it's going to release its own water and you'll make a nice syrup. Here I have about two teaspoons of fresh ginger that I've minced. Peel the ginger first, mince it, that's going in. And then about two teaspoons of lemon zest as well. Whoops. All into the pan. I'm going to give it a gentle stir and just let it simmer. So make sure when you're cooking your compote that the heat does not get too hot. You don't want to scorch your fruit. So I'm going to reduce my flame and we're going to go down to a low flame at this point. I started on about medium. It was getting a little hot. So I'm down to low and I'm just going to let this simmer as we make our French toast. What I have here is a baguette. This was from last night. I just let it sit out on the counter overnight, sliced it on the bias, which is an angular cut, and it's about you know, three quarters of an inch thick. I like my French toast pretty thick. Some people prefer it on the thin side. It's really up to you as far as the thickness you want to make it. The base of French toast is always egg. So I have six eggs going into a large mixing bowl. The first thing I'll do is whisk the eggs, and I'm not whisking the eggs to incorporate air at this point. I'm simply whisking to make them all uniform in color. I don't want to see any white and yolk separate. I'm just making them all uniform. The next thing I'll do is add one and a half cups of milk, cream, half and half. It's up to you what you want to add. This is half cream and half milk, so I've essentially made my own half and half. If you want to keep your French toast on the lighter side, you could simply use milk, and you can even get away with using one or two percent milk. Whisk that milk, or cream in this case, into your eggs. Of course you need a little bit of spice, so I have some cinnamon already ground, I have some nutmeg that's already ground, and just a pinch of salt. You can, al you can alter these spices to your liking. If you like a little more cinnamon, certainly use more cinnamon. If you don't like nutmeg, you can easily keep it out. This is four tablespoons of unsalted butter that I've melted, and I'm going to whisk this into our mixture as well. And then the last thing I'll do is add just a dash of vanilla extract. By dash, I probably mean about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. Don't go over a teaspoon of extract. Um, could be a little too much vanilla in your French toast. Again. I'm whisking to make sure everything looks uniform. As soon as I see those spices are evenly distributed throughout our custard, I know we're ready to proceed. My grill pan, again, I'm using the smooth side of an indoor grill pan. It's nice and hot. I have a little bit of butter. I want to make sure that I'm not going to have any major sticking, so I'm going to give it a little bit of some butter. You could use a cooking spray. You could use oil, whatever you like at home. I like to let my French toast soak just a little bit. There's a fine line become between oversaturating and not soaking your French toast enough. So I probably put the pieces in, let them soak for maybe 10 seconds, flip them over, give them another 10. 